So I want to show you how to create a simple layout like this and export it into an image, a PDF, an SVG or whatever you want to do. Okay, so stick around. Let's see how it's done. You can follow my videos by subscribing to the channel and consider leaving a thumbs up on this video. Thank you. Okay, so over here, I am going to show you how to export maps. Now, if you've been following my previous videos, what we did was we learned how to download data, how to uh, introduce it to the attribute table. I introduced it to various ways of styling data. That's by using the single rule, the rule based styling, the single method, categorization and grad is it graduation right um and then i showed you how to label right so over here i'm just going to start my kill just desktop and what we want to do today is when you have your map ready how do you export it now before we go deep into G um, qgis i want us to learn how to export our maps so that we don't have to come back to that all right so i'm going to start a new project and when my project is started i'm just going to introduce my data so um let me add my data right now i don't know what exactly all right so this is my data ghana admin zero to ghana admin two right so for now i could um sorry i could turn this off and then i have this one or maybe rather i could turn this off right then i have this one okay this is gonna add me one for the purpose of beauty let's just give it some we are going to try to export this map as a picture right or as a pdf one of them so for the purpose of beauty i'm just going to style this one all right so i'm going to s properties by double clicking then i'm going to symbology i like to give this one as uh, i like to change the name from ghana admin one to ghana right and i apply like this then i don't interrupt the coordinate system leave it as it is and um, um for now let's categorize okay i'm just going to categorize them based on regions or name one i don't know what name one is let's see what name one is okay good name one is region so i'm going to categorize them based on regions and i'm going to hit apply anyway i don't like this color i should use a color ramp rather so i am going to look for a color ramp here and i like the greens they mostly look nice in my eyes right so i apply the color ramps to it and then uh, maybe i could go to what i could go to um the labels right let's give some labels to it so i'm going to select single labels and for the text well i'm going to label them by name one okay because we are labeling them by regions okay so when i apply i expect to see all the regions app applied here i would give the labels some oh I would give the labels a mask okay or a buffer let's give it a buffer and i'll give it a white buffer i don't know how that will look okay this looks cool let's change it to a, um something like a blue like this too much blue with a little whitish all right better all right so now um and so you can basically mess around with this you can use callouts or you can render determine the rendering for the labels like this guy is struggling to be inside okay so you can i mean touch around these things so that your map would fall in place as you would like it but for now i think this is okay for me maybe just a bit with the buffer i think the white was just enough it was just okay i'll go with the white all right so for now i assume my map is a school all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to export it. Perhaps we are just asked to categorize Ghana's region based on a certain criteria and you decided to categorize it and it fell out this way. You can follow my videos by subscribing to the channel and consider leaving a thumbs up on this video. Thank you. So in order to export it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to projects and inside projects, I see new print layout. Okay. So I hit on new print layout and then I, I could say layout one. Okay, depends. Now you can create different kinds of layouts. Okay, so you have to label the layouts based on what. Perhaps this one is for 
graduated regions okay that's the layout that's the name of the layout so i would just call it graduated regions and it brings out the export window for me or the layout window for me now if i hit on this add map it will allow me to draw a section a rectangle where the map will appear you can also access it from add item here okay add map you can access it from add item here so basically whatever is here is here okay that's the shortcuts so i'm just going to draw a rectangle where i expect my gunner to fall what it means is that i can now adjust my map um to suit as much space as i need okay so i'll just give a little space here for the title down here all right and then over here i would zoom in this map so i come to select this other option okay it allows me to move the content within this window okay so i can zoom in as much as i need um i think i, I prefer using the scale so i'll just reduce the scale to probably um three thousand oh that's too much um so you have to oh yeah Okay, so you have to tweak with the scale a little until you get what you need, all right? So with this, you can see that my map is almost perfect, right? All right, so I think I'm over squeezing it. Almost perfect. So I just need to readjust again to maybe, let me put it at four, one, two, four, six zeros. Like this, all right? You can zoom in. I don't enjoy zooming in, so I always prefer using the skill. All right, so at this point, it looks okay, and I would just enable the frame of this map so that there's this kind of outline. All right, then I select my other tool. This tool is used for selecting and moving things. This tool is this tool is used for moving the content within the windows or the frames. All right. So now there are other aspects of a map. Every map has some key elements. For instance, every map needs to have a north arrow. So I'm just going to draw a north arrow here and um, perhaps introduce my legend. Okay. So over here. Okay. So I introduce my legend here. Now, because Ghana admin 2 and Ghana admin 0 do not appear, I'll just remove them from my map. So I'll turn this auto complete, auto update off. Then I select this Ghana admin um, two, and um, oh, turn this off, right? Then I remove, select this one, and also remove. So it's left with just these guys, all right? All right. So now um, you could give it also a frame. So let's just give it a frame so it looks like this, and then um, I would give it a scale so you can choose a skill and you give it a skill now over here on the right hand side of the skill i will just increase the length of the right hand side okay by well it shouldn't be too much you don't overdo it okay um you can always change the style of the skill to different styles okay it's, it's up to you you have to understand when to use them all right so um what else i think from here i will also add a title right because we need a title so i'll just draw this rectangle here and down in the properties i would give my title so i'll say ghana graduated regions all right so i would just format my title by going to click on font and i would increase the font size to 26 or maybe 24 is okay make it bold and i like to use cambria so let me change it to cambria is there Cambria here? Okay, there's Cambria here. So I select Cambria. Now I center it and I put it in the middle of the box, right? This is better. I think I should increase the font size to 26. Like this. So with this one, all you have to do is, if you need to export it, you just come to layout. And you can see export as image. That's if you prefer your data to be an image, okay? So you put it in your project folder. Um, this is a project folder for another person. But you put it in your project folder, and then perhaps let's just use that same project folder. Where is it? So I put it in my project folder, giving it a name, then I save, just like this. You can also save it as um, SVG or a PDF. Most people like to use PDFs and images. So you could also save it as a PDF like this, and then 
um, accept the default settings and then you should you should do it when it's done you should see this tick symbol then you can open the location and then open it up as a PDF right so basically that's how to export your data um, is there anything I'm missing ideally you would put what we call a locator map but I would show you how to create a locator map in another video perhaps in the next video all right um, now basically you can look through here these are map elements you can add you can add these elements map properties the um, dates the projection all those stuff you can add them okay that's if you think your map needs it you can also add other shapes and markers and features depending on what you think you can add an attribute table from your data right so it's all it's all about you i think we'll be exploring some of these things as time goes on 3d maps so but for now i will end this one here i just wanted to show you how to create a simple layout in the next video i would show you how to create a grid layout okay i would i'll just pause this one i mean i'll just end this one and then continue so that i'll show you how to create a grid layout i don't want the video to be too long and then perhaps after that we can do the locator map so for now that's how to create um this kind of map okay so that's it